like you speak the truth in the world rock star we can speak the truth as well if something's annoying us we're going to stand up and tell you i want more people to come forward and actually express their opinions of what you they think of this new trail that you brought out it's not very good in my opinion and you know it's not very good it's like you've obviously done this on purpose or deliberately to see what reactions um that you that you get out of, get out of um and things but you, obviously you don't seem to care or you've just done it because to take a chance i don't know why you've actually done this uh silly trailer to be honest with you if you don't want your game to sell well just throw your game in the bin rockstar you know what i mean it's pointless you uh keep going as a company because you're not actually fulfilling us people that actually put a lot of time and effort into your game and spend thousands and probably millions of dollars and pounds on your game it's very disappointing and diabolical you expect us to put stuff in for your game and, and uh, put a lot of time in but you can't even do it for us that's how we feel today with that trailer and you've given us a load of crap and shit and garbage rubbish and i'm going to say it because it's true we deserved a better trailer than that the last time you did this this time you've done it people are clicking on you know, you keep making too many mistakes, Rockstar. Why? You do it on purpose to see the reactions of us and we don't you don't want us to buy your things, is that what it is? Or have you just had enough and you don't know what to do? Or you've not had you haven't got the staff that you used to have but did great games and now you the rubbish the games that you're making. But you haven't got the people that are clever like making the games for you. Or well, the staff you're hiring out are probably less than used to be. Whose fault's that then? If you would have stuck to your game and made a different one every year, these things would happen. I shouldn't be the one that has to be speaking like this to you. You should know your own games company inside out. I shouldn't be, have to be telling you how to run your company. I don't even work for your company. And I'm telling you how it is. It's disappointing, really, and diabolical, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of people probably laugh at this and think it's silly. Or they agree with me. I, I just think it's silly and selfish what you're doing. You want to be the best game company of the world. You were, but look at it now. Perhaps Minecraft may take over and be the best game. It's clearly you've made enough money and thought, sod everybody else in your game's company. Everybody else is not important. That's what you're treating us. You're treating us like animals, like dogs. We're not dogs. We're human beings. We should be treated with respect. You know, we don't have to buy your games. We don't have to feed your lifestyle. We don't have to pay your bills. We could just say no to your game if you really want to. But we choose to buy your game. Because some people think that they're helping you out. You're helping us out. You know, we want the, the games that you make. Because there's some very interesting and talented people. Talented people. But you're making it more difficult for yourself, Rockstar. Carry on doing what you're doing. And you're going to make more and more people angry. But you probably don't care. So when, when you realise your, your money drops in your company. Your games don't sell as much as they used to. Then you'd have to bring out GTA 6. You know, people stop buying your shark cards. Or you just may give up and close your company down. It's up to yourself. I'm just saying it how it's going. I'm nothing like the modders. I'm nothing like them people that do things out there. I'm just an ordinary guy like anybody in the world that's getting by, buying things from you in your game, buying interesting things, doing missions, having fun, and making friends. But some people just want to take the piss and uh, not bring out games when they should be coming out and breaking broken promises like you rockstar which you've done again when it hits 2022 march and you say the same thing again sorry we can't bring it out again we need more time in the game you're just going to lose a lot more people people just think sod your game and just throw it in the bin that's what it's, that's where it's going to be heading if you carry on but anyway i've been in the video thank you Jeremy. peace tell me you guys go to the side and ladies and gentlemen am i right or am I wrong what i'm saying or am i taking it too far <coughs> there's only so much you can take in this world with us They've had plenty of time to be messing around this game. The next one, peace. Thank you, Jeremy. Peace.